We all know we need to eat more vegetables, but let's be honest, they're okay at best. I have one of the pickiest eaters in my house, and these ground beef quesadillas pass the test. Two thumbs up. We'll go two handfuls of spinach and kale, yuck, I know, half a white onion, about six cloves, peeled garlic, 15 ounce can fire roasted tomatoes, a teaspoon each of ground cumin and kosher salt, and then three to four, like two tablespoons ish of, or sorry, teaspoons of chipotle chilies and adobo. Throw that into a food processor and blend until smooth. If you have like a Vitamix, I would use that. And if you have like really picky eaters, use that so they can't see any green bits. And then shred cheese. We're going 15 ounces of cheese total. I used a blend of pepper jack, Colby jack, and queso Oaxaca. Chihuahua cheese would be great. Just make sure you use an off the block and don't use pre-shredded. Then you'll brown and fully cook a pound of extra lean ground beef and a half tablespoon of oil before you break it apart, fully cook and add the sauce. Cook the sauce for another four to five minutes until that sauce thickens and you kind of have a homogenous beef mixture that you can fill your quesadillas with. To make the quesadillas, add some flour tortillas with a little bit of cooking spray to a griddle or skillet. Go cheese, beef, cheese. I have a link to the full recipe below, but this is using about one and a half ounces of cheese per quesadilla and about three and a half or four ounces of the beef mixture. This will make 10 quesadillas total. Quesadillas are easy enough, so I won't over explain here, but maybe one to two minutes per side until you're nice and golden brown, and then transfer to a plate and then make some more. I also used, uh, if you're here in Texas, H-E-B, you might be familiar with the Southwest flour tortillas. They're great if you have them. If not, no big deal. Again, in the full recipe post, I have some more ideas for things like carb balanced tortillas, corn and flour blended tortillas uh, that work great for quesadillas and are a little bit more macro friendly if that's what you're after. So just repeat this till you have all your quesadillas, slice them up, you're ready to serve with your favorite fixins, whether that's guacamole, salsa verde, you name it. Hope you enjoy these. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more recipe videos like this.